What up? This is Goose from Comeback Kid. You're watching Pit Camp TV. Hi, this is Pete from PitCamp.tv, and we're sitting here with Andrew from Comeback Kid. Um, hi, how are you doing? Good, you? Yeah. Good, thanks. Um, let's talk about the new album first, because obviously that's the biggest topic now. Um, everyone's talking about everyone's it. Everyone's talking about it, absolutely. It's great, it's amazing. <laughs> it's really good, I'm serious. Um, Die Knowing came out uh, in April, is that right? Uh, M March or April? February. 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 Yeah. All right. Um, how is the fans' reactions to this so far? Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, um, you know, we play some new songs live, and oh, we feel good when like people like sing along and make those new songs seem like they fit in in the set, and they we get a reaction out of that the same as we would any of our other like songs that yeah. would get a good reaction and stuff. So it like it seems like it's going well, and uh, the songs we we, made, we wrote them. To, just so that you know we'd have some more fun songs to play live we definitely have like the live setting in, in mind when we're writing the song so yeah we I think we accomplished what we set out to do with it it's good awesome yeah um, to me or I and the uh, people that I talked to had the feeling that the album was actually kind of or, or goes a little slower at sometimes but heavier it feels heavier than the records before that was it something that you intended to do or did that just happen along the way or is it something you would say is not you know I don't know I think there's a lot of fast songs on there um, kind of when we were doing it We do. We did have some like melodic songs on it, but uh, when we were writing the songs, we were kind of we, you know, we kind of thought about the group of songs we had, and we we're like, "Fuck, there's a lot of like really heavy, like fast, like rippers on this album," and uh, a lot of the stuff was a little bit maybe like throwback to like '90s, the more metallic hardcore that I grew up yeah. on. Um, so we kind of just. Uh, Kind of a lot of the songs are kind of a little bit throwback, and we just definitely trying to simplify things a little bit. Talking of throwback, as you mentioned that you brought Scott back for one song on the record. How did that like come along happen? Uh, he's just our, I mean, he's just my buddy, and uh, we talked about having him sing on a song just because we did like a 10 year anniversary from mm -hmm. the first record, and we did that, and like that was we kind of did that anniversary, and that was kind of like a kind of bought us a little bit of time while we were writing our record just as something extra to do um, and a, just a fun thing to do really like just have them back and for me to play guitar was really cool so um, doing that um, that song with him we got together and I was like hey let's write some songs with some music together didn't really end up uh working out too much we just ended up hanging out and laughing and not writing any lyrics and then I went so it's what funny about that song uh, I was on tour with my other band Sights and Sounds and we were on tour with Bring Me the Horizon mm -hmm. so the keyboard player Jordan of Bring Me the Horizon recorded my vocals in Italy in some backstage Scott recorded his vocals in Toronto the drums were recording in California and the music in Winnipeg so it was uh, it's a pretty international song very yeah four, four different uh, recording sessions like Uh, awesome. countries I guess yeah. or three different countries but three yeah. different countries but four different yeah. locations yeah. wow that's, that's amazing yeah it was kind of cool it's a cool story you know one song yeah absolutely and that's what I mean any like guest vocals that we, we've had and um, even when I do guest vocals on things uh, uh, all the time it's usually just setting up a mic in a random room somewhere and just sending it over the internet so that's I think that's something that people don't always realize so much don't be distracted by that we're doing an interview that's alright that's alright he just spilled the pickles and I'm serious okay. about that pickles you know? many pickles yeah. <laughs> no, um, get that juice <laughs> Um, coming like from the album to touring for the album, you were in Berlin in April already, like just right across the street in the Kasselpaya. Yeah. How is that compared to being on a tour like this? Because you I mean the other location was a like intimidated place. We know that we can maybe like have a reach to more people on a show like this, and uh, of course we're going to want to play it. We knew that we were going to be playing here then when we were when we played that show that's why we played like a small venue that could just you know something that we could easily hopefully sell out and I think we did and it was just yeah. like you know it was able to you know just something that so that we would you know maybe wouldn't not taking away too much from a show like this so yeah. that was a warm up for this I don't know I love that show that was a cool show that was a really awesome that's show. my first time I think playing at Casapia how many of the new songs actually made it to the set list now and is it like do you have a, like the, is the amount higher now because the, the album is out longer or yeah we're, we're trying to bring more songs in but um, on this tour we really only have since we're supporting we have like 35 minutes to play yeah. so we play uh, like three new songs or something okay. like that out of 10 
general. It's like for the like 35 minutes. It's all like the exactly. amount of the exactly. Time. You know what I mean? We can't play all the songs that we want that you know we feel represent our band. We can't play every song that we want to play, but um, we just try to. I know that people got into Comeback Kid at different times in their life. If they listen to us, you know some some people only heard our, our earlier stuff, or some people just kind of heard us later. Or, um, so we just try to keep a fresh mix of different kinds of songs from all making everyone happy hey man just try to please man <laughs> in general how do you feel the tour's going so far um tour's going good uh we're happy to be back in germany last night in hamburg was fucking awesome uh and we get to go down south like to barcelona and madrid and places like that which i always get a kick out of so um everyone's Everyone's good. Everyone's good. You had a chance to see Berlin today? Uh, I went. I just went to Primark today to get some sweats. All right. But uh, I, I've spent a good amount of time in Berlin. I was actually just here like about a month ago, uh, right. spending some time and just hanging out and stuff. So I love this city. I could live here one day, maybe. But well, there's, uh, you gotta hurry up. All the you know flats been taken out by rich people. Oh uh, yeah. People. Yeah, and then renting it out with for uh, Airbnb or something like that. No, yeah. What are you? I mean. Obviously, you're, you're touring a lot with the new record out. Um, with this tour, with your tour before, what are your plans like after the Never Sit I Tour is finished? Is it like going home for Christmas um, and New Year, or is it? I would go home after this, but I'm actually I'm going to go to Cape Cod, Boston, to produce uh, the new D's Nuts record. Oh. Uh, and then I get Christmas off, and then we have a tour, some tours in the states. Uh, right, so I'm not catching a breath at all. Just keeping myself busy and just kind of keeping keeping on working. So. So. Who's the band on this tour you enjoy the most seeing live? If you get the chance to see anyone live. Um, Terror is always fun. Uh, Stick to your guns is kind of like fresh for me, and I, you know, I, a lot of young kids like them, and uh, they get, always get like a cool reaction. So, on top of the band being great, it's always cool to see a band get such a large reaction. It's just, it's just a fun thing to see, you know. We kind of flip flop, so it's either you know, it kind of gets gets us pumped up, pumped up to play, or just you know. Yeah. All right, and well, thank you very much for your oh, time. Thanks for having us. I appreciate it. Thank you. Just my biggest question. Yes. Right? We've been friends for a while. How can we never bring wisdom and change on? Tour, oh, I can't wait to answer this fucking question. We just tried to take them on tour and they rejected us in January. So Mad Joe Black can be mad at himself. Maybe he shouldn't have such a good job and he can just tour the tour all the time like a retard like me. Good band though. We want to tour with them.